Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, so I'll just quickly jumping on before I start my clients today just to show you this neon set that I did um, last week. So all the nails have been prepped and primed and I've gone in with the clear base already. So on the pinky finger here I am coming in with Glitter Bell's Flamingo Feather. I'm mainly putting that down at the cuticle area because I'm going to put glitter on at the tip. This nail is going to be a three colour ombre, so at the tip here I'm coming in with bright lights from Glam and Glitz. I'm going to pop that down and fade it back a little. It won't matter too much about the blend on this nail because I am actually coming in with um, a glitter over the top. Um, so this orange colour here is Mango Tango from CJP and at the cuticle area I'm just going to pop on some Flamingo Feather. I usually pop, try and pop videos up on a Wednesday and a Sunday um, but I was so busy yesterday that I didn't get a chance and this weekend I'm actually be in Belfast for my friend's wedding so I thought I'll just quickly jump on now and get it done before I start my clients for the day so on to the middle finger and this one is going to be a vertical ombre with the same three colours. So Flamingo Feather from Glitter Bells, Bright Lights from Glam and Glitz and Mango Tango from CJP. I always see a lot of people asking if you can use um, different acrylics from different systems. Um, yes you can. Um, as long as you've got it sandwiched between your clear then you can put anything in between it. The same goes for glitter. There's no difference. So if you can put glitter between two clear bases, then you can put any any colour in between it as well. Not much. Doesn't matter which company it's from, as long as your clear is the same. So on this pointer finger here, it's going to be a full nail of bright lights. I think on the other hand, our pointer finger was a full nail of flamingo feather, and our pinky might have been mango tangle. I only recorded one hand, but I have recorded top coat in both hands. So just coming in with that colour until I am happy. Back to the middle finger. So I'm going to come in with bright lights and you can see anyway when it touches the pink it goes that nice orange colour. But I do come in with the mango tangle down the middle of it anyway. And again this one's going to be covered in glitter as well. So I'm just doing it really thin. building up the colour. <clears throat> Excuse me. That bit was annoying me but I get it off with a file. Don't know if maybe it was the corner of the tip that I hadn't blended properly, it was sticking up. Coming in in the middle with that mango tangle. And on the thumb here is just going to be a marble with the three colours. So I just pop a bead on at the cuticle just to get that nice and neat. And then I'll come in with beads of each colour and just marble them together. And both the thumbs were the same, they were both marble nails. I always do my marble different. I never do it the same way. Oh. 
excuse me. So back to the pinky finger here and I'm coming in with some neon glitters that I got from Smiley's Glitter Store. Um, but they, they're not sparkly glitters. They're just, they're sort of like, I wouldn't say they were matte. They're just, they don't have any like, they're not iridescent and they're not holographic either. So I come over the top of that with Clear Hollow from the Glitter Planet. And I do the same here. So I come in with Smiley's um, neon glitter. So the pink one, the orange one, and the yellow one. I think you see the orange one a little bit better than you do the pink. And then I go over that entire nail with the clear hollow from Glitter Planet. Just to give it a little bit of a sparkle. This one reminded me of those ice lollies that you get. I can't remember what they're called though. And this one is just going to have the clear hollow over the top of it. Just to hide the blend a little. So all the nails have been capped and filed. And now I'm coming in with CGP's Tack Free Top Gloss. And I'm going to top coat all of these nails. Pop her in the lamp for 60 seconds. Wait till she cools down and pop on my cuticle oil. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, it's just a really quick one for you. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and I'll see you all again in my next one. Thanks for watching.